gun alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. And CD, our quarterbacks taking center stage here for each of their respective offenses. And I think that each quarterback wants to play this game with a faster tempo. They want to get the plays in quickly, get in and out of the huddle quickly, take just a few seconds at the line of scrimmage and survey the defense, and then attack. And I think that we'll see both offenses try to do that in this one. from Denver. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Off the play fake, Gannon. And all oh, this is taken in one hand and what a catch. Boy, that completion Come comes on, with a high degree Let's of difficulty, go. especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. Throwing on first down. Gannon, right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On the ground, it's James. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's the type of ability to fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Second and nine. Back to throw. Gannon. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Here's James. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver.
play fake here on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And the Broncos are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards, the pick up there. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big play that time on the catch and run. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. Rodgers now on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. They'll set up the screen with Davis. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete to Sharp. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Check, check. 
And all the way down inside the five to the four. Sports. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Rodgers nowhere to go here he lost the football this has been a long drive you know that defense they're craving to get off the field they were able to force it free but couldn't recover it yeah and on the offensive side of the ledger they were thinking about how do we punctuate this drive with six, right, making an exclamation point. Instead, you got to put a question mark next to this drive now after the fumble, even though they recovered it. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. Get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And the really good play callers look ahead and down a distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. You ready? You ready? Mike's Rogers now on third and goal. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. No, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. A field goal try forthcoming now for the Broncos. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And this one is right through. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drop. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Second and 15. Yeah. 
Looking to throw. Gannon. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive. That threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he finds Glock. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our free game meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chunk, but they call him very reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Gannon. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Hernandez. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. They'll run on first down. James. And he's got some space here. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside Let's the go. 10 to the 7. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. How about that, partner? That's a gutsy run, a physical run, an explosive run, and he's inside the 10-yard line now. I don't know if you hand it to him again on this play, but make the defense think that you will, and maybe you have some options off of it. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Looking to throw. Gannon, he finds his man complete. It's Hernandez. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 0 our score. Looking to throw on second down, Gannon. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Rodgers now on first down. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, 
He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Rodgers. This is Smith with a grab. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Rodgers. And that's complete to McCaffrey. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Rodgers to throw once more. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore, and the Pats force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Man open left side is Brown. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. to throw on second down. Gannon. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. To throw on third down, Gannon. James has got it, complete. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half, and they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room.
30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Bearing it out deep for Smith. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there just before halftime. Even later into his career now, there aren't too many guys that can launch it downfield with accuracy better than Aaron Rodgers. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. And you can see in the next-gen stats, that one 62 yards in the air. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6 nothing is our count at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for New England. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Taken in at the goal line and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And the Bronco offense ready to begin this third quarter of play. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Off. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created 
had some space, and he got there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Whoa. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They run it with James. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Looking to throw on second down. Gannon got a man. It's Brown. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. First down, Gannon over the middle complete. That's Hernandez. Not much there, only a yard. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On second down, it's James. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. From the gun, Gannon. A beautiful fake, and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. James. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball smack down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to throw. Gannon. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he could find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Operating from the gun, Gannon. And this is caught at the end. And here he'll get it down to the 
the seven. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chip in. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. onto the field ready to start their next drive and they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter and the passing game for them it's been terrific we've seen that but the rushing game almost non-existent and with the lead and trying to finish this game off they need the running game to come back to life they need to get sparked that way take some time off the clock and keep the ball away from their opponents and that is going to do it for this third quarter of action you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Hands it off out of the gun. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And here's a handoff out of the gun. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Working with a second and three. Now a handoff to Davis. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked hey, hey, off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Patriots are right back in this football game. 
game. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman oh, yeah, right. with the Eagles. That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. New England trying to get to place on offense. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. On first down, it's James. And three yards there takes him to the 45. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Gannon. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Back to throw. Gannon. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Let's go, let's go. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Gannon. Throw left side complete. That's Moss. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And Denver getting set to take the field. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Here's Davis, he'll try and run some clock. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Let's go! Let's go. Gotta figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just gonna be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Rodgers now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass him. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. 
They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. A first down carry for Davis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Side is he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Davis. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Let's go, fuck. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Second down, Davis. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 66 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. I don't know about you, partner, but watching him take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.